All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this series of Athenian Stranger tutorial videos, where today we are going to be looking at a fractional distance situation. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem and analyze the picture and see what we see what we're going to do. Okay, so the problem asks, where should point C lie if it is two sevenths the distance from point A to point B? Okay, so right off the bat, a little bit confusing, but fear not. Okay, these are paper tiger problems. Okay, so here's how we find the answer to this problem. First, we need to know the distance between A and B, the absolute distance. And then we just need to take two-sevenths of that value. It's really not all that hard. Here's how you do it. Okay, you start with point B. Point B is at 15. Okay, point B is at 15. And point A is at 1. Okay, so you just write it just like that. We'll label these points here. This is point B, and this is point A. And the way that you find the absolute difference between these two points is by subtracting A from B. Okay? So what is 15 minus 1? It's not a trick question. The answer is 14. Okay? So that 14 is the absolute difference okay the absolute difference between a and b is 14 well now what do we do well it asked us to determine what place on this number line two sevenths the distance from a to b would lie that is if we start at point a at one and we move forward two-sevenths of the total distance between these two points, where will we be? Okay? And here's how you determine that. You take your absolute distance and you multiply it by whatever fractional distance they're looking for. In this case, it's two-sevenths, so you just take 14 times two-sevenths. Okay? So we multiply the top by the whole number. So we multiply 14 times 2, and we get 14 times 2 is 28 over 7. Now, can we reduce that fraction? Yep, 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Now, these problems won't always be drawn to scale, but I drew this one to scale so we could actually see it. Okay, so I've got our distances set up here so that each quarter inch represents one movement. So this, if this is one, we move forward four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay, so right here is where point C will lie at 4. Now, in these problems, the numbers won't always be this clean, and they might include algebraic expressions. And then later on, we're going to see this on a coordinate plane, but I promise that we will make videos of all these different use cases and problem types, and you'll find this to be very, very manageable. Okay, uh, if this video was useful to you, please like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question about what I just did, please leave a comment in the, descript in the, in the comment section with your question. Otherwise, um, I hope you all have a very good day, and thank you for watching The Athenian Stranger.